Welcome to Lynn Educational Television. I'm Afton Dean, bringing you Lynn Classical Boys Basketball as a square off against the Beverly Panthers. And Beverly won the tip, and they get off to a good start, courtesy of Duncan Moreland, who lays it up high off the glass. So for Classical, starting five consists of Jeffrey Hill Jr., Tony Palavra, Jeff Barbosa, Jaden Thornton, and Angel Garcia. Costco going a little bit different starting five tonight. And Moreland off the miss. And Moreland is joined by Jack Crowley, Damian Boris, Justin De La Cruz, and Austin Ayer. So there you have it, the starting five for both teams. And corner three, no good. And it's going to be out off of Beverly, off the hands of Ayer. It will track it down out of bounds. And Classic will have the ball and look to score their first points of the night. Great crowd on hand tonight for this weeknight game. Garcia and Palavra have been inserted into the starting lineup. So not the normal starting five for classical. Coach Grassa electing to change it up a little bit here. And gonna get a timeout. Coach Grassa doesn't like what he sees. And that timeout comes with just a minute nine into the game. So Beverly with some, some obvious Height advantage down low. We'll see if that poses a problem for the Rams. And Austin Ayer and Duncan Moreland, the two big men for Beverly. And we'll see what Classical can draw up out of the timeout. Jeffrey Hill will inbound it, side out. Barbosa kicks it to Palavra. Palavra's shot off the rim and out. Angel Garcia, nice offensive rebound. Can't put it over the outstretched hands of Jake, Jack Crowley. And nice move by Duncan Moreland. Looked like he got bumped off the shot too, no call. Hill shot, looked like it was partially blocked. They're gonna say he got hit on the hand. You don't see Jeffrey Hill airmail many shots. So he'll have two at the line. And looking to put Classical on the board here. Hill makes the first. And makes both two of two at the line for Jeffrey Hill. First points of the night for Classical. And Barbosa with the steal and then gives it right back. Gonna be out off of Beverly, kept alive momentarily. Lavra off the pick and nails it from three. Tony Palavra and Costco moves ahead 5 4 early on. Palavra has shown he has that range. Another long rebound for Beverly. And Jack Crowley count the basket and he's gonna go to the line looking for a three point play.
as I mentioned, if Blaubert can keep hitting from the outside, that adds another dynamic to this classical offense. So it's going to stay Beverly Ball here, and they'll get a fresh 30. Little up fake, basket won't go, and it's going to be out off of Garcia. it in. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Beverly. Gonna try to utilize that mismatch inside. And they find Austin Ayer cutting to the basket. He gets bumped off the shot. More free throws coming up for the Panthers. And you can obviously see that the size advantage benefiting Beverly right now. Austin Ear makes the first for Beverly. Rims out the second, one of two at the line. And that's going to be out off of Classical. So Classical stuck on this side of the court. Almost identical situation, miss free throw. And they lose it out of bounds. And Jack Crowley cashes in. So good trip down the court for Beverly. A long one at that. 9-5 advantage. No thought about it. Palavra off the pick, front rims it. Thornton comes away with the rebound. Glover kicks it. Barbosa will try. He's short. And they're going to get a foul. I'm not sure who it's going to go against. But Duncan Moreland was running the floor. He gets rewarded. Shot doesn't go, and he's going to be at the line. First. Aiden Dow will check into this game, his first minutes of the night, and we're also going to see Raynell Nunez off the bench for Classical. Looking to get some answers on the glass. Nolan's got six to start this game. Just about coming up on the halfway point of this first quarter. Second chance point. Advantage Beverly up until this point. Taken away from Hill. Moreland pulls it back. Finds Austin Air. Early will slow it down here a little bit. Pointer doesn't go. Cruz. Or Nunez comes away with the rebound. Hill to Dow. And Dow with the left hand banks it high off the glass. Dow makes his presence felt in this game off the bench. We're going to get a foul. act of shooting. So more free throws coming up for Jack Crowley. Crowley 
Valley misses the first. We'll have one more. 10-7, Beverly on top. Three eleven left to play here in the first quarter. And Crowley gets the second one to go. Crowley has five first quarter points. And Barbosa will bring it up for the Rams. Hill off the screen and shot goes, but wave off the shot. Foul before the shot. And that's a shame because it was a three pointer for Hill. So wave off the shot. It will stay an 11 7 game. And we'll move past the three minute mark here in the first quarter. We're going to go inside, utilize that mismatch. Good defense by Barbosa. Short from three, another offensive board for the Panthers. And good defense inside. Nunez, Thornton, and Aiden Dow right on the shooting hand of Duncan Moreland. Nice move with the dribble for Thornton. And looking at the officials, thought he got hit. but it will in fact be Panthers ball. Jack Crowley trying to out muscle the Rams defense. He can't. Possible the other way. Looking inch a little bit closer. Down four. Hill knocks it down. His foot was, I thought his foot was on the line. They're going to give him a three. Let's see if that comes back. Maybe make it a two. And pull up from the free throw line, Duncan Moreland. He's had a very productive first quarter. He's got eight. He's a game's leading scorer. Hill comes right back. And answers. Hill is feeling it. And the Rams are within 1, 13, 12. Barbosa off the miss. He's got Hill with him. And Hill misses the jumper in transition. Panthers looking to run. And no call. Looks like Hill took a charge. Lost by Hill. Two on one for the Panthers. And hard foul by Barbosa. He's going to make Tristan a brew, earn it at the line. Good job by Barbosa to get back into the play and contest the shot. Bounces at the free throw line here in this first quarter. A brew, good trip at the line, two of two. Brandon Summers, who just checked in, will bring it up for the Rams. Under a minute here. Nice pass inside. Eusebio Quintana, too strong. Good look for possible. Duncan Moreland, count the basket, and he's going to go to the line. Strong kid, he just. He outmuscled everyone. 
And Moreland having a game. It's a chance for his 11 point of the quarter. And single handedly. <laughs> carrying this Panthers offense. So Beverly should get the ball back, barring an offensive rebound. Summers will bring it up. Five second difference between shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at eight. Barbosa makes his move, and strong move, high off the glass. Shot clock was winding down. And they're gonna get Beverly for an offensive foul. So Classical are gonna have one more opportunity to get another shot off. They have three seconds, plenty of time for a catch and shoot. And down four. Summers. To Barbosa off one leg and nearly put it home. So Classical makes it interesting there in the last three seconds, but they will go into the second quarter down four as Beverly's on top, 18 14. And we apologize, we pick it up here with almost six minutes left here in the second quarter after some technical difficulties. Classical trailing at 20 to 18. Summers controls the offense, calls the play around the screen. And they're gonna get a moving screen on Angel Garcia. And that is the eighth team foul for Classical. I'm not sure he's not shooting. And Jack Crowley hits another one from deep. He's having a solid night, and we'll get a quick timeout from the classical sidelines as Jack Crowley was left wide open. And Beverly opens up their lead, 23 to 18. Crowley now has eight points on the night. Himself and Duncan Moreland doing the bulk of the scoring. As they have a combined 18 points. So 18 of the 23 points coming from the duo of Crowley and Moreland. <clears throat> Jeff Hill Jr. keeping his team in the game. He's got seven. We come out of the timeout. We'll have 5.47 left to go in the quarter. And I'm not sure why Beverly didn't get to shoot any free throws off that last foul on the, off on the offensive foul, the illegal screen. So they are over the limit. So Brandon Summers will inbound to Hill, and he'll have Summers bring it up. Hill gonna drive off balanced. Had nowhere to go once he got in the air. And fortunately for Classical, it will remain their ball. And they got a fresh 30 on the clock. Tony Palavra are gonna kick it. And his pass is deflected. And they're gonna say it was out off of Moreland. So Classical will retain the possession one more time. Plenty of time to shoot with 26 on the shot clock. Barbosa will take it side out. Summers kicks it. Palavra 
Finds Garcia, nice look. Palavra to Garcia. Great look underneath the basket. And Palavra contests that. But Damian Boras gets his first points of the night. 25-20, Beverly on top. Arboska gonna try from three, off the mark. Crowley with the rebound, Beverly the other way. And nice defense from behind. But they are gonna call a reach in on Jeffrey Hill. And with that, Jaden Thornton will check in. Thornton and Eusebio Quintana will check in. Summers and Barbosa to the bench. And Classical is over the limit. And free throws coming up for Damian and Boris, who scored on the previous possession. And makes the first of a one and one. We'll get a second. Just joining us, Beverly left, led it 18 to 14 after the first quarter and have extended their lead to seven here in the second. Hill will bring it up. Oscar in need of some offense here. Hill gonna drive off the rim and out. Nice rebound by Garcia, keeps it alive, gets it to Thornton, and Jaden Thornton does the rest. Beverly pushing it quickly the other way. And they answer, that's Austin Ear, his first field goal of the night. 29-22, lead stays at seven, exactly at the halfway mark here in the second quarter. Hill will pull up, wild with the shot. Beverly comes right back, courtesy of Duncan Moreland. He's got 13, he's the game's leading scorer. 31 at 22. Thornton nearly lost it. Instead banks it high off the glass. And it couldn't come at a better time for Classical. In need of some points. Jump shot no good, Tony Palabra comes away with the rebound. Hill will pull it back out. Met by three Beverly players. Hill looking to take his man off the dribble, goes behind the screen and nails it from three. Jeffrey Hill, his second three of the night. He went right behind the Angel Garcia screen. Great drawn up play. This time he kicks it, Palavra loses the dribble out to Thornton. And they're gonna say he stepped out. Jeffrey Hill Jr is having a pretty good offensive night in this first half. He's got 10. Plenty a bright spot for this classical team here. Finds themselves down. Moreland pulls up. Front rims it, gets his own miss. And he finds Austin Ear. Still a six point game, 33-27. Thornton to the basket and we are gonna get an offensive foul. I wasn't sure if the defender's feet were set. Of course the official believes they were and Coach Grassa and the trainer are gonna go look at Gene and Thornton as he is shaken up in the play. And it was 
a pretty hefty collision. So Plasco looking to overcome this deficit and pick up the win, get a little bit closer to the state tournament. <clears throat> Beverly having a solid season, being carried by the big men. So Thornton, that's a good sign. He walks off under his own power. And not sure if his night will be done, but hopefully for him, we will see him in the second half. Pull up along the baseline, can't hit. Summers up tall for the rebound. Last goal the other way. Quintana thought about it. Hits it inside and it's good. And that's the first points of the night for Keon Griffin. Steal ahead, Summers. And it's going to be out off of Beverly. So Summers was running the floor. Pass was just a little bit late to him. Plus, we'll take it underneath the basket. So Summers will inbound. Gets it to Hill. Hill will pull it out and get the offense set here. Down four. Draws to Palabra, a nice dish. And it's a 33-31 game. And put back by Duncan Moreland. So classical originally stopped them, but the offensive rebounding becoming an issue at this point. Been looking. Quintana. Looking, gets it to Palavra. Back out to Hill. Hill's going to have to shoot it. And off front rims it. So Beverly will have a chance for the last shot. It doesn't look like they're going to try to settle for that. And ripped away by Palavra. And right back to Beverly. And we got a foul called. So, I'm sure Coach Grasso not happy with his team. Not the ideal situation to foul at the end of the quarter here. So, Treston Abreu will go to the line. And the first one doesn't go. And makes one of two at the line. They're gonna have to shoot it. Gets in the air and it goes. Will it count? Yes, it will. So Classical ends the note on a high note. Jeffrey Hill goes coast to coast. And Classical finds themselves down three at halftime. 36 Beverly, 33 Classical. We'll see you for the second half. We'll begin the second half. Classical trailing 36-33. Big half for Jeffrey Hill Jr. He had 10 points, led his team in that first half. And on the other side, Duncan Moreland with 15, leading it for Beverly up until this point. And pretty good balanced scoring attack for the Rams. And Beverly, again, led by Moreland. Beverly has led since the first quarter, led at 18-14 after one. 
Costco able to cut a little bit into that lead in the second quarter. But Beverly on top here, 36-33, 16 minutes of basketball left to play. And nice move along the baseline. And that's Justin De La Cruz. And that's his first basket of the night. Barbosa looking to respond, kicks it out. They go cross court to Jaden Thornton. And Jaden Thornton for three. His first three pointer of the night. And he can shoot it from the outside. He has shown that all season long. And nice pass inside. Austin Ayer had a step on the defender. They're gonna get a reach in before the shot, so Beverly will take it under, out underneath the basket. Fresh 30 on the clock. Justin De La Cruz set to inbound. Tipped out of bounds, will stay Beverly ball. We'll do it one more time. De La Cruz looking, finally gets it in. Dribble drive, shot no good, and Jake Crowley there, Jack Crowley there for the putback. Barbosa gonna find Angel Garcia rolling to the basket. Garcia traveled with it. And Haskell gonna turn the ball over here. Damian Boris brings it up for Beverly. And Tony Palabra puts his hand up. Call the follow on him. And Justin De La Cruz will inbound one more time. Turn around along the baseline, short. Rebound to Barbosa. Classical the other way. Drives, throws it up off the side of the backboard. So come back, Beverly's way well shot by Hill. Once Hill got in the air, he had nowhere to go. Damian Boris will bring it up one more time for Beverly. As Thornton defending. Beverly doing a good job of moving the ball in this possession. And baseline denied by Jeffrey Barbosa. Moreland tried to save it, he could not, and it will come back classical's way here. Good defense by the Rams. Pulls it back out, going to reset the offense. We're going to go one on one. Kicks it to the corner. Short by Palavra. Nice ball movement by Beverly. And then that's blocked. Jeffrey Barbosa. Swats that into the first row. And Reynel Nunez and Keon Griffin have checked into the game for Classical. 40-36, Beverly on top. And we're gonna get a foul called against Nunez. 
Austin Ear. Trucks down the wall. Jack Crowley taking his man off the dribble. And two free throws coming up for Crowley. He's had a solid night, 10 points so far. And Eusebio Quintana will check into the game. Crowley makes both. 42-36. Now a six-point lead. Barbosa kicks it to the corner. He'll dribble drive. Pascal moving the ball. Beverly playing some good defense here. And pass through the hands of Keon Griffin. Pascal getting sloppy with it. Credit the Beverly defense on that possession. Had everyone well covered. Crowley with the turnaround, off the rim and out. Barbosa up tall for the rebound. Barbosa, acrobatic move. Good offense, better defense, offensive foul. And that's Austin Air taking the charge. He had nice position down low. I wasn't sure if his feet were moving. He definitely had the position. Coach Grasso not happy with the call. And Moreland finds a cutting Justin De La Cruz. Nice find. And De La Cruz does a nice job freeing up and Moreland finds them. So it's 44-36. Beverly with an eight point lead and we're exactly, nearly exactly, at the halfway point here of the third quarter. Classical gonna need to find some offense here. Have sputtered a little bit here in the second quarter, or in the third quarter. <clears throat> Have scored just three points. Three points in four minutes has allowed Beverly to open up this lead. So Klaus will have the ball out of the timeout. for the end of this one. Oscar fans hoping that they can melt the comeback here. Down six, plenty of time left in this one. Brandon Summers with the number three on his back has, or with the number two on his back, has checked into this game. And he will bring the ball back up for classical. Out of the timeout. Classical searching for offense here. Aiden Dow has also checked into the game for the Rams. And we're going to get a double dribble. Quintana lost the dribble, had nowhere to go. Brandon Summers, Jeffrey Hill. Keon Griffin, Aiden Dow, and Eusebio Quintana out there for classical. And as I say that, Jack Crowley hits one from deep. 47-36, Beverly's largest lead of the game at 11. Griffin sets the screen. Hill has had all kinds of issues getting open in this second half. Trying to do something. Credit Beverly's defense. 
wild shot down ahead to Hill. Hill's got two men back with them and Keon Griffin. The ball somehow found him and we're gonna get a blocking foul against Beverly. So non-shooting foul. Summers will inbound. He'll try to take his man off the dribble. He gives it up. Labra turnaround doesn't go. That's been doing a good job keeping it alive. Summer is going to throw it up. Looked at the official, thought he got fouled. And Jack Crowley running the break. Tony Palavra back. Nice job by Palavra to get back into the play. Still down 11 here, 47-36. Coming up on two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Summers hands it off to Palavra. And pass out of the reach of Aiden Dow. Jaden Thornton will make his way to the scorer's table and check into the game. Palavra to the bench. Plenty of time to make up 11 points if you're classical. But gonna have to start converting or executing a little bit more on offense. Just three points in this third quarter. And it was not a clean block by Griffin. Gets him on the arm, so Jack Crowley gonna go back to the line for two more free throws. makes the first. The lone points of the quarter for Classical have been on the Jaden Thornton three-pointer. Everybody else has been held scoreless. Give some credit to the Beverly defense who have really tightened things up here in the third quarter wreaking all kinds of havoc for Classical on the offensive side of the ball. Probably makes one of two. He's got eight second half points. And Jeffrey Hill finds some space. Count the basket and some much needed points for the Rams. So Hill will have a chance for a three point play here. This is the free throw. Beverly Ball as Duncan Moreland loses it. Still a 10 point lead for Beverly. Crowley with the up fake, frees up some space, can't hit. And kept alive momentarily by Beverly, and we're gonna get a foul. Foul's gonna go against Jaden Thornton. So more free throws coming up for Crowley. Short on the first one. He's got 16 points tonight. Eight of them coming here in the second half. And it makes that one. Lead 
back up to 11 for Beverly. Hill will bring it up over half court. Hill asking for a screen. Garcia sets it. And a moving screen going against Angel Garcia. So they get him with the offensive foul. And Coach Grassa not happy with his crew. Struggling to find some offense here in the third quarter. And that doesn't help the cause. Garcia comes away with it. Nearly stolen away. And we're going to get a reach in foul. Gonna go against Jack Crowley. <laughs> and Hill pleading with the official, they're gonna get him with the elbow as he pushes off the defender there. So offensive foul. Boris will bring it up for the Panthers. Bosco should get the ball back. Drive by Crowley, strong move, and welcomed by Garcia at the rim. And some more free throws coming up for Jack Crowley. Been a common theme of the quarter. We're gonna extend the lead. Busco will have a chance to get the final shot of the quarter. At this point, I'm sure they're hoping just to get a quality shot to end the quarter. Get a little momentum going into the fourth. Crowley makes both. Thirteen now the largest lead of the game for Beverly. And Classical gonna have to come from behind in this one if they have any thoughts of picking up the win tonight. Plenty of time to get a good shot off here. Garcia backing his, backing his man down inside. Can't find any space. Quintana will kick it. Griffin misses the baseline jumper. Quintana wisely doesn't follow on the rebounding act. And as the buzzer sounds, is it gonna count? Yes, it will count. And that's been the common theme for the classical team in this quarter. So not much going their way. They'll face a 16 point deficit heading into the fourth quarter. Eight minutes of basketball to play. And we'll see you in the fourth. Classical outscored 18 to five in the third quarter. And now find themselves in a 16 point hole, 54-38 with eight minutes to play in this one. And the offense really sputtered there in the third quarter. Get back no good. Barbosa in a crowd, and we're gonna get a jump ball. Nice job by Barbosa, keeping it alive on the offensive end for Classical. Jump ball will come back Beverly's way. Bosco needs some stops here. Three pointer, no good. Nunez with the board.
and Hill loses it. Beverly can afford to take some time off the clock here with the large lead. And we're going to get an offensive foul. And that will go against Justin De La Cruz, his second personal, fourth team foul. Classical over the limit right now with nine team fouls. Barbosa drives, swatted away by Moreland, and it will stay classical ball here. Barbosa will inbound. Gets it to Hill, Hill from the corner, and Jeffrey Hill for three. And much needed classical offense couldn't come at a better time. 54-41. And talk about stops on defense. There's one. Hill pulls up, shot no good. Long rebound by Dow. And Nunez loses it. And Moreland misses on the fast break. Up ahead to Barbosa. Shot no good, Dow comes away with it. Hill drives in and out. And Jeffrey Hill goes down hard. And he's still down on the other end of the court. Corner three, off the rim and out. And the putback, Austin Ear. And we're gonna get a timeout as Jeffrey Hill took a hard fall on his way to the basket. No foul called. And it's a 56-41 game. Classical in foul trouble with the nine team fouls. More importantly, they're facing a 15 point deficit. And it all comes back to the third quarter being outscored 18 to five. Jeff Hill has the 15 points which leads his team. Hopefully for Classical, he'll be able to re-enter this game as he did come down hard on that last drive of the basket. Summers will inbound. And classical time will become a factor very soon in this one. So Barbosa will bring it up. Barbosa, Summers, Garcia, Dow. And Reno Nunez in there now for Classical. Without Jeff Hill in there, they're going to have to find someone to go to on the offensive end. Jack Crowley will make it Austin Air. Puts two in. And Angel Garcia answers. Fifty-eight, forty-three. Orland pulls up, rims it out. Nunez with the rebound. Classical the other way. Head to Summers. Summers drives. Nothing doing. Beverly quickly the other way. Both teams with a little ump tempo play. Out to Crowley. Hands it off to Air. Air with the left hand. Austin Ayer suddenly has nine points for Beverly. Barbosa gonna pull up from three. Off the mark. Kept alive by Aiden Dow and it's gonna be off Jack Crowley. So it will stay classical ball here in a fresh clock. And fortunately for classical, Jeff Hill gonna check into the game, back in after being shooken up. Tony Palavra also back in 
for Classical. <clears throat> Hill will inbound. Loops it into Barbosa. Barbosa gets bumped along the baseline. And Classical will take it out one more time. Hill, which is five points in the second half. Can't make that one. And part of Beverly's success has been keeping him quiet. So Classico will get the ball back here. Barbosa. Got in the air, nowhere to go. And each team trades a pair of turnovers. So unless Classical can pull off a miracle finish here, they will be defeated at the hands of the Panthers tonight. Again, we knew size was going to be an issue early on with this Beverly team, with their bigs. But Classical was in it most of the game here until they sputtered in that third quarter, unable to get any offense together. Jack Crowley, Duncan Moreland, Austin Ayer, the big contributors right now for Beverly. <clears throat> Classical, of course, in the bonus with those 19 fouls, so they have to be careful here. Down 17, which is 350 left to go in the game. Nunez, Dow, Barbosa, Hill, and Eusebio Quintana out there for Classical. And Classical going to put some backcourt pressure on and. They need stops, they get one there. As the backcourt pressure bothers Beverly. Hill looking to take his man off the dribble, pulls up from three, halfway down. He wanted that one. And that's just the type of night it has been for this classical offense. Those had a couple of those tonight. Moreland takes off from the free throw line. Drives and fouled. So he's going to get two free throws. And that's going to go against Aiden Dow. Moreland makes the first. One of two at the line. Barbosa comes away with the rebound. Hill looking to take his man. Sends it to Nunez. Barbosa drives. Loses it. And Classical turns it over. Gonna get a push. And go against Raynell Nunez. And he's got five fouls. Jaden Thornton gonna re enter the game at the 256 mark here. And this one's just about all but over. Beverly up by 18. More free throws coming up for Moreland. He makes that. Makes both. He'll 
calls the play. We're on the Dell screen. And foul before the shot. He wanted to throw it up and sell to the official that he was in the act of shooting. But clearly not the case. Tipped out to Quintana. Loader too strong. Moreland with another rebound. Twenty is the largest lead for Beverly. Dish to Moreland. Nice cut to the basket. Two more for him. Bounce pass, length of the court, nice pass. You don't see that bounce pass used very often. Great find. Thornton, foul before the shot. So it wouldn't have counted anyway. It'll be Classical's ball here. They'll inbound. Into Palavra. Quintana uses the glass, count the basket, and he'll go to the line looking for a three-point play. Again, looking for bright spots tonight offensively. That's a good play to build on if you're Sabio Quintana. Misses the free throw. Palava right there. In the corner and nails it. Tony Palavra for three. That's his second three of the game. First time he scored since the first quarter. And another foul gonna go against Classical. This time they're going to get Tony Palavra, his second personal. And Classical now in the double bonus. <clears throat> Moreland and Crowley making a living at the free throw line tonight, especially in the second half. Makes both. Thornton from three, short. Man, hard foul. Moreland hit while he was in midair. Probably looked worse than what it was. But more free throws coming up for him. Out of hand here tonight. Looks like it was going to be close early on, and like I said, the backbreaker came in that third quarter. for getting back into the play there. 
it's great to see players still hustling hard, even down by as many as 23 points. throws. Foss going to foul trouble most of the half. <laughs> and with this big lead, we get to see Nazil Espinal for the first time. The classical he's wearing the number zero on his back. Lava pulls up in rhythm, comes it out. Miki Acosta also in there for Classical. And a Jaden Gonzalez. So Classical going pretty deep into their bench here. Down 24. And the ball will come back Classical's way. We'll see if Classical just dribbles it out. Shot clock off here. And this will be a game that Classical will want to forget. As the scores any indication of how things went tonight. Well, that's a great spot. As Brazil Espinal a strong move to the basket. And Beverly will dribble it out. And as the clock <clears throat> strikes 0 0 0, Beverly takes this one by 22, 72, 50. So, <clears throat> looks like it was gonna be a game early on. Classical was down just 18 to 14 after the first quarter. Things got a little bit closer moving into halftime as Beverly was clinging to a three point lead, 36, 33. The turning point came in the game in the third quarter when Classical was outscored 18 to five. So Beverly took control of the game at that point and it was all she wrote. So the fourth quarter, not much in terms of scoring on either side, but the game was well put away at that point, well out of reach. So Classical loses it here, 72 to 50. For Classical, Jeffrey Hill, one of the bright spots, he finished with 15, fairly quiet in the second half. And that was a testament to the Beverly defense who Played some pretty strong defense on him all night. Jane and Thornton had five, six points apiece for Angel Garcia and Tony Palavra, but mostly the entire classical offense pretty pretty quiet tonight. And scoring just 50 points. On the other side, Jack Crowley, Duncan Moreland, and Austin Ayer, the big men, all contributing on the offensive end and Duncan Moreland finishing with a game-high 22 points. So Classical drops this one 72 to 50. I'm after Dean from all of us here at Lynn Educational Television. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Lynn Educational Television.